Welcome to the video tutorial for La Mer, the 15th pattern in the Stardust Melodies Crochet Along series and our 8th free pattern. I'm Polly and I'll be your host. If you'd like more information about the Crochet Along, please visit EveryTrickOnTheHook.com or EveryTrickOnTheHook on Facebook. For this video, I'll be using Erin Weight Yarn and a 5.5mm crochet hook. Let's get started. We'll begin by making a double magic circle. To do that, take the yarn, wrap it around your fingers not once, but twice. Then insert your hook into the loops and pull up a loop of yarn. You can take the loops off your fingers now, hold them securely, and then pull the yarn tightly around your hook. After that, you can chain one and that will secure and hold your circles in place. Now we can make our round one stitches. For round one, we'll make a single crochet into the magic circles and then chain two. We'll do that again, single crochet into the magic circles and chain two. Let's do that a total of four times. So single crochet again and chain two. That's three, one more single crochet, chain two. That's four. Now we can close our magic circles and to close a double magic circle the first thing you do is find your yarn end, make sure it's coming out of the top nice and straight. If it's tangled you'll just want to untangle it. Mine is already coming out nice and straight so I'm going to pull on it just a little bit, just a little bit until I see one of the circles start to close. See how this one is much smaller now? I don't want to close it all the way. What I want to do is grab this circle and pull from the top until the other circle closes. So I grabbed the smaller circle and pulled it from the top until the larger circle closed. Now I can go back to my yarn end and pull on it and it will close that circle. And that closes your double magic circle. Now, to finish round one, simply slip stitch to the very first single crochet, pull your slip stitch nice and tight, and that is round one. For round two, begin with a chain one. That just brings our yarn up to the height of our work, of our new stitches. The next thing you're going to do is single crochet in the back loop only of the first stitch. The very first stitch is the stitch that has the slip stitch in it from round one. If you have trouble finding it, just grab your chain two spaces on either side and pull them outwards just a little bit and that will stretch out that middle piece so you can find the loops better. Then you can go insert your hook just under the back loop and pull up a loop to make your single crochet in just the back loop. Now here's a hint, if you want, grab a stitch marker, just one, and put it into the two loops of the single crochet you just made, and that will make joining easier when you come back around and you need to slip stitch to join your round. That will make it easier to find. It's completely optional, but if you want to make it easy to find that stitch, um, go ahead and grab a stitch marker and do that right now. Okay, so we made our first single crochet in the back loop only of the very first stitch. The next thing we're going to do is work into the chain two space by making a single crochet and then chain two and then another single crochet in the same chain two space. And we're going to repeat that sequence of stitches all the way around. So the next, into the next single crochet, into the back loop only, make a single crochet into the chain two space, make a single crochet and chain two and then another single crochet. Then into the next single crochet, into the next stitch, in the back loop only, make a single crochet. Into the next chain two space, you're going to make a single crochet, chain two and another single crochet into the next stitch, back loop only, single crochet. In the last chain two space, single crochet, chain two, and another single crochet. 
that brings us all the way back around to where we started and we'll slip stitch to both loops of that very first single crochet to join and then pull that tight and that is round two. In round three we're going to make a very basic round of single crochets in the back loop only of our stitches but this is an important round even though it is very simple because we're going to repeat it several times throughout this pattern. So pay close attention and I'll give you instructions not only for round three but also for how to repeat round three for later rounds. We'll always start with a chain one and a single crochet in the back loop only of the very first stitch. After that what we'll do is single crochet in the back loop only of each stitch across to the corner. The corner is the chain two space that we made and in round three we only have one more stitch before we get to the corner. So into the back loop only make a single crochet and then your next stitch is the chain two space. In future rounds when you repeat round three there will be more stitches. You'll have several single crochets to make into the back loop only. Just make as many as it takes, one into each stitch in the back loop only a single crochet until you get to your chain two corner. When you get to the chain two corner, make a single crochet into the chain two, chain two, and then another single crochet. That is going to be our standard corner that we make every round. So in each chain two space, we're going to make the same thing. Chain two, single crochet, or single crochet, chain two, single crochet in every corner. Okay, now for a full side, we'll do the same thing. We're going to single crochet in the back loop only of each stitch across to the next corner. In round three, there's only three stitches until we get to the next corner, but in future rounds, again, there will be plenty more. In the next corner, we'll single crochet, chain two, and single crochet again. Now let's do that all the way around. Single crochet in the back loop only of each stitch across to the corner. In the next corner, chain two space, single crochet, chain two, and another single crochet, all in the same chain two space. Then on the next side, single crochet in the back loop only of each stitch all the way across to the last corner. And then we'll make the last corner the same way in the chain two space, we single crochet, chain two, and another single crochet. All right, that was our last corner. Now what we need to do is single crochet in the back loop only of each stitch across to the first stitch. This is round three, so we only have one stitch before we get to the first stitch. So in the back loop only, we'll make a single crochet. In future rounds, when you're repeating this, there will be more there. Just do as many as you need to get to the first stitch. Make sure you don't work into the chain one that began the round, and make sure you don't work into the slip stitch that closed the last round. Just get the back loop only of the single crochets. When you get them all, slip stitch to the top two loops of the first stitch to join. Pull that nice and tight and that is round three. Now what I want you to do is repeat that for round four and then repeat it again for round five. So make, go ahead and make round three two more times. You'll have a few more stitches on each side each time you repeat it and then I will meet you back here and we'll do round six together. Before we begin round six, you should have already completed round four and round five, both as repeats of round three. Now for round six, we'll start by chaining one, and we are going to jump right into our special stitches by making a treble two together. And we're going to place each leg of this treble two together in a different stitch, and I'll show you how to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to count the rounds and we're going to count the stitches back and forth to find the stitch that we want to place our treble two together into. So we're going to count from the first stitch. Each of these horizontal bars that you see here 
represents a round below the round that we're currently working into. So normally we'd work into these top loops of these stitches. That's our current round that we're working into. But these horizontal bars are the rounds below that. They are the front loops that we did not work into when we made our single crochets into the back loop only. So now we're going to use them to place some stitches. So what we'll do is we'll count down. Here's our first stitch. We'll count this horizontal bar below is one round below. And this one here is two rounds below. We want to place our first stitch two rounds below and two stitches behind. So now we're two rounds below. We're going to count, if you look at the horizontal bars, they're segmented. Each little segment is a different stitch. So we're going to count two stitches behind. So here's the two rounds below. Now to go behind, this bump right here is our slip stitch that we joined to. You won't have to worry about that on the other sides of this round. But for this side, don't count the slip stitch. Move on to the next stitch, which is this one right here. So that's one stitch behind. And then this stitch over here, this is two stitches behind. So once you've found that front loop, I like to just pinch it with my thumbnail right underneath the front loop I want to work into. Then I'll yarn over twice because we're going to make a treble two together. And bring my hook down and I'm going to insert my hook under that front loop. So from underneath, under that front loop and hook it and then pull up a loop and then I'll yarn over and pull through two loops on my hook twice. That is the first leg of our treble two together. Now to place our second leg we'll count from the same place so from the very first stitch right here we'll count one round below and then two rounds below. Now this stitch we're going to place two stitches ahead so I'll count one stitch ahead, two stitches ahead to this front loop right here. Yarn over twice and then insert your hook under that front loop only and pull up a loop. Then yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook twice. Now I've got three loops on my hook so I'll yarn over and pull through all three loops on my hook. And that is my treble two together. After I've done that, the very next thing I'm going to do is single crochet in the back loop only of the next three stitches. I'm not going to work into the very first stitch that's behind the treble two together because it counts as being worked having this in front of it. So into the very next stitch, in the back loop only, I'm going to make a single crochet one, two, and three times. You should have just one stitch left on the side before your corner chain two space. Now what we're going to do is make a treble into the front loop only of the stitch that is two rounds below and two stitches behind this next stitch. You can count them out or I'll give you a cheat and let you know that it will take you to the exact same stitch as the second leg of your treble two together. So all you really need to do is yarn over twice and insert your hook under the same exact front loop as that second leg of your treble two together, pull up a loop, and then complete your treble. After that, you're not going to work any stitches into that last stitch of the side. It counts as worked because the treble will sit right in front of it. You're going to work right into the corner chain two space and make your normal single crochet, chain two, and another single crochet in the corner. Okay, now let's take a look at a full side of round six. The very first thing we'll do on this side is make a treble into the front loop only of the stitch that is two rounds below and two stitches ahead of our next stitch. Now it's kind of hard to count below when you're in the corner. We're starting from way over here in the corner, so it's hard to count below. So let's count forward first. So here's our very next stitch that we'll be working into, or that we would be working into. We'll count one stitch ahead, two stitches ahead, and then we'll count one round below and two rounds below to this front loop right here. That's where we'll make our treble. So yarn over twice, insert your hook under that front loop only, and pull up a loop, and then complete your treble. Now we won't work into that very first stitch. This treble sits in front of it and makes it, it counts as worked. Next, we'll single crochet in the back loop only of the next three stitches. So one, 
two, and three. Now we're going to make another treble two together, and we're going to make it just the way we did the first one, but I do have something to make it a little bit easier. The very first leg of your treble two together, you can count if you want, you can count one, two rounds below and one, two stitches behind, but what you'll find is that it takes you to the exact same front loop as the treble we just made. So it's easy enough to just yarn over twice and insert your hook under the very same front loop only as that last treble we made. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops twice, and that's the first leg of your treble two together. To make your second leg, we are going to have to count it out, so we'll count from what would have been the very next stitch, the same stitch we would have counted from, from for the first leg. Count from that stitch one round below, two rounds below, one stitch ahead, two stitches ahead. It's that one right there, that front loop only. So yarn over twice, insert your hook under that front loop only, and pull up a loop. Then yarn over and pull through two loops twice. Now three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops, and there's your treble two together. Now again, don't work into the stitch that we counted from, because that one counts as worked now. Working into the next stitch, single crochet in the back loop only. Once, twice, and three times total. You should have just one stitch left on your side, and we're not going to work into that stitch, we're going to make a treble into the front loop only of the stitch two rounds below and two stitches behind, but again, we don't actually need to count this one out because it is the same exact front loop as the second leg of our treble two together. So simply yarn over twice, insert your hook under that same front loop, pull up a loop, and make your treble. After that, go right into your corner chain two space with your single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. Okay, let's take a look at what we did here for a full side of round six. We made our corner and then we jumped right into making a treble in the front loop only of the stitch two, two stitches ahead and two rounds below. Then we single crocheted in the back loop only of the next three stitches, not the stitch behind the treble because that one counts as worked, having the treble in front of it. Into the next three stitches we made single crochets in the back loop only. Then we did our treble two together. The very first leg went into the same front loop only as the previous treble we made. The second leg we counted one two rounds below and one two stitches ahead and placed it in the front loop only of that stitch. Then we did three single crochets in the back loop only of the next three stitches. And then we made a treble in the stitch two rounds below and two stitches behind but we didn't need to count that one either. We knew it went right into the same front loop only as the second leg of our treble two together. After that, we went straight into our next corner. So that is a full side of round six. I want you to go ahead and make that again on the next one and two sides, these two sides, and then I'll show you how to finish up this last little bit of round six. To finish the last section of round six, I've already made my last corner in the chain two space with a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Now what I'm going to do is make a treble in the front loop only of the stitch two stitches ahead and two rounds below. But if I count that out, what I'll find is it's exactly the same stitch as the very first leg of the very first treble two together that I made. So all I really need to do is yarn over twice, insert my hook under the same front loop as that first leg of that first treble two together, pull up a loop, and then make a treble as usual. After that, we simply single crochet in the back loop only of the last three stitches, and then slip stitch to both loops of that treble two together we began with, slip stitch to both loops to join, pull it nice and tight, and that is round six. Now for round seven. Round seven is almost identical to round six, the only difference is it's a little bit bigger and we have some stitches to guide us. So what we'll do is we'll start with a chain one, and again, our very first stitch is going to be a treble two together. 
We're going to place it exactly the same as the round six treble two togethers. The first leg will go two rounds below and two stitches behind. The second leg will go two rounds below and two stitches ahead. But because we have the round six stitches already in place, it's really a lot easier to place our round seven stitches. It's actually harder to count our round seven stitches out than it is to just follow the round six stitches. So what you'll do is find the place that you put your first round six, uh, the leg of your first round six treble, the first leg, and if you just pull it down a little bit so that you can see the stitches above it, you're actually going to work into the front loop only of the stitch immediately above the round seven, or the round six uh, treble two together was worked into. You can count if you want. Um, you'd have to count backwards, so we could count from our first stitch, we could count one stitch behind, two stitches behind, and then one round below and two rounds below. Or again, you can just find the front loop that you worked these stitches into from round six and go one round right above it. So either way works. So let's make our first leg by yarning over twice and then into that front loop only. Insert your hook. It's a little hard to see, but it's there. And then pull up a loop. Then yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook twice. And that's the first leg of your treble two together. To make your second leg, you can count. Here's our stitch we're counting from, the very first one. One, two stitches ahead, and then one, and then scooch these out of the way, two rounds below. Or just find this loop that you worked these stitches into and go one stitch above it into that front loop only. Then pull up a loop. Oh, I didn't yarn over twice. You have to yarn over twice and then insert your hook. Pull up a loop and then yarn over, pull through two loops, twice. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through, through all three loops. And that is your first treble two together. After that, single crochet in the back loop only of the next three stitches, just like in round six. And again, we'll make a treble into the exact same loop as the second leg of our treble two together. So you yarn over twice, insert your hook onto the same front loop only as the second leg of your treble two together, pull up a loop, and complete your treble. Now the difference between round seven and round six is actually the next stitch, we are going to single crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch. We have one stitch left before the corner, so we'll make a single crochet in the back loop only and now we're at our corner, so we can make a single crochet, chain two, and another single crochet in the corner chain two space. Now for a full side around seven. Again, the only difference is a single crochet in the back loop only of the first and last stitch of each side. After that, it's just like round six. Our first stitch is going to be a treble into the front loop only of the stitch, two stitches ahead and two rounds below, or two rounds below, two stitches ahead, either way you want to count it. So we'll yarn over twice for our treble, and we'll count from our next stitch. One stitch ahead, two stitches ahead, one round below, scooch these out of the way, two rounds below. Or just find where the last, the round six treble was made and work into the front loop only right above it. Make sure you're not too high, make sure you're two rounds below. But if you find that stitch, you should be able to find the one right above it and make a treble into that front loop only. That should speed things up a little for you. Next, single crochet in the back loop only of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Then we'll make another treble two together. The first leg goes into the exact same front loop only as the last treble we made. So yarn over twice, insert your hook in that same front loop only that we just worked into, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops twice. There's your first leg. Your second leg goes two rounds below and two stitches ahead, or two stitches ahead and two rounds below, either way. So counting from the next stitch, which is actually the treble two together from round six. One stitch ahead and two stitches ahead, and then one round below and two rounds below. Scooch those out of the way to see two rounds below. Or just scooch these out of the way and find the front loop only that is directly above 
the one that you worked into from round six. Either way, in that front loop only, pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through two loops twice. Then yarn over, pull through all three loops for your treble two together. Then single crochet in the back loop only of the next three stitches. After that, you just need to treble into the front loop only of the exact same loop, the same stitch, as the second leg of your treble two together. So yarn over twice. In that same front loop we just worked into, make a regular treble. Then single crochet in the back loop only of the last stitch of the side. And then you're at your corner, you can make your regular single crochet, chain two, oops, and single crochet. Okay, let's look at a full side of round seven. Here's what we did. We made our single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the corner. Our very first stitch was a single crochet in the back loop only of the first stitch. This round seven is just a couple stitches wider than round six, so we need to put a single crochet on each side of it. So first stitch is a single crochet in the back loop only of the first stitch. Then we made a treble in the front loop only of the stitch, two stitches ahead, and two rounds below. Have to scooch these stitches out of the way to see it, or we counted up from the front loop that we worked our round six trebles to into. We counted up one front loop to find that one. Either way you can count is fine. Then we made three single crochets in the back loop only. Then we made a treble two together. The first leg was worked into, into the exact same loop as the treble we just made. The second leg was made two stitches ahead and two rounds below into the front loop only of that stitch, which is also one stitch above the stitch that we worked into in round six, so just one stitch above that one. You can count either way to get there. Sing then we single crocheted in the back loop only of the next three stitches. And then we made a treble in the front loop only of the exact same stitch as the second leg of our treble two together. After that, we made a single crochet in the back loop only of the last stitch of the side, and we made another corner. So go ahead and do that again on the next two sides, and I will show you how to wrap up this last little bit of round seven. To do the last side of round seven, I've already done my last corner. I'm going to make a single crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch. Then treble in the front loop only of the stitch two stitches ahead and two rounds below, but that just so happens to be the exact same stitch that the first leg of our first treble two together was worked into. So I don't need to count, I can just find that leg of the treble, follow it down to the front loop only that it was worked into, pull up a loop and make a treble. Then we just need to single crochet in the back loop only of the last three stitches. And then slip stitch to the top two loops of that very first treble two together to join our round, pull it nice and tight, and that is round seven. Now what I want you to do is go ahead and make round eight and round nine by repeating round three for each of them. So two repeats of round three, and then I will meet you back here and we will do round 10 together. Before we begin round 10, you should have already completed round eight and round nine, both as repeats of round three. For round 10, we'll start by making a chain one and you'll notice it is very similar to round six. In fact, it's almost exactly the same, except we have a few more treble two togethers to make. So we're going to start with a treble two together, and we're going to place it exactly the same as we did with the ones in round six. So we'll count this out. Our very first leg is going to go in the round, in the stitch two rounds below and two stitches behind. So here's our first stitch. We'll count one round below, two rounds below, and then one stitch behind, don't count your slip stitch, one stitch behind, two stitches behind. That's where we're going to put our very first leg. So I'll yarn over twice, insert your hook in that, that front loop, and pull up a loop. Then yarn over and pull through two loops twice. 
The second leg will count from the same exact stitch, one round below, two rounds below, and one stitch ahead, two stitches ahead. So in that front loop only, yarn over twice, insert your hook in that front loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops twice. Then you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. There's your very first treble two together. Next, we're going to single crochet in the back loop only of the next three stitches. Now we're going to make another treble two together. This one's a little easier. The very first leg goes in the exact same stitch as the second leg of the previous treble two together. So you can yarn over twice and simply insert your hook into the same front loop only as the second leg of the previous treble two together. Pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through two loops twice. Now our second leg of this treble, we will count. We'll be counting from the same stitch that is our next stitch, the same stitch we would have counted from for the first leg. So from that stitch, one round below, two rounds below, then one stitch ahead, two stitches ahead. That's where we'll make our second leg. So yarn over twice in that front loop only, pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through two loops twice. Then yarn over, pull through all three loops. And there's your second treble two together. Now single crochet in the back loop only of the next three stitches. You should have just one stitch left before the corner chain two space. We're going to make a treble into the same front loop as the second leg of our treble two together that we just made. So in the same exact front loop, make a treble. Then, single crochet in the corner chain two space, chain two, and single crochet again. Now let's do a full side of round 10. We're going to start by making a treble in the front loop only of the stitch two rounds below and two stitches ahead of our next stitch, or we can count two stitches ahead and then two rounds below, which is what we'll do because we're at the corner. So here's my next stitch. I'm gonna count one stitch ahead, two stitches ahead, and one round below, two rounds below, into that front loop only, insert my hook, and pull up a loop to make a treble. After that, single crochet in the back loop only of the next three stitches. Now let's make some treble two togethers, okay. So the easy thing about these is that the first leg always goes in the front, the same front loop as the last leg of the last treble two together, or in this case, the same front loop as this treble two together. So we don't need to count the first leg, just yarn over twice, insert it in the same front loop as the last front loop you worked into, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops twice. Now we'll count for the second leg. Here's our next stitch, one round below, two rounds below, one stitch ahead, two stitches ahead. That's where we'll make our second leg. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into that front loop only, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops twice, then yarn over, pull through all three loops, and there's your treble two together. Now single crochet in the back loop only of the next three stitches, and we'll make another treble two together. The first leg goes in the same front loop as the second leg of the last treble two together. So yarn over twice, insert your hook under the same front loop only, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops twice. Now we'll count for the second leg. Here's our next stitch that we're counting from. One round below, two rounds below. One stitch ahead, two stitches ahead under that front loop only, so yarn over twice, and in that front loop, pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through two loops twice. Yarn over, pull through all three loops, and there's your next treble two together. Now, single crochet in the back loop only of the next three stitches. So, 
one, two, and three. One more treble two together. So again, yarn over twice. The first leg goes in the same front loop as the second leg of the previous treble two together. So insert your hook under that front loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops twice. Now let's count it out for our next leg. Here's our next stitch. So counting from this stitch, one round below, two rounds below, one stitch ahead, two stitches ahead. There's the front loop we'll be working into. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into that front loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops twice. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. Now single crochet in the back loop only of the next three stitches. There should be just one stitch left before the corner. We're going to make a treble into the same front loop as the second leg of the last treble two together. So just a regular treble into the same front loop that we just worked into. Then you can jump right into your corner chain two space with your single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Okay, so that is a full side of round 10. We did a regular corner, single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the chain two space. Then we did a treble in the front loop only of the stitch two stitches ahead and two rounds below. Then we did three single crochets in the back loop only. Then we did a treble two together. Treble two together we placed the first leg in the same front loop as the last treble we made. The second leg we counted two rounds below and two stitches ahead. We did that and then we did three single crochets in the back loop only. We repeated that sequence three times total. So we did a treble two together, three single crochets in the back loop only, treble two together the same exact way, three single crochets in the back loop only, treble two together same exact way, three single crochets in the back loop only, and then we did a treble in the same front loop as the second leg of our previous treble two together. That was our very last stitch of the side before we got to our corner. So that's a full side of round 10. I do want you to take note of one thing that can help you place your stitches. The front loops that you're working these into are centered right in between the treble two together and the treble from round six. There's, we made three single crochets in between those stitches. They are made into the front loop only of that center single crochet. So if that helps you and makes it a little easier or faster for you to place your stitches, you can do it that way too. You can just identify your treble two together and your treble and then the middle single crochet. Either way, however works for you, go ahead and make that side again on the next two sides of round 10 and I'll show you how to finish up this last little bit of round 10. Okay, let's finish up this last little section of round 10. I've already made my very last corner, so I'm going to jump right into it with a treble in the front loop only of the stitch two stitches ahead and two rounds below. So I'll count it out from the next stitch. Here's my next stitch. Here's one stitch ahead, two stitches ahead, one round below, two rounds below. Into that stitch, into that front loop only, is where I'll make my treble. So yarn over twice, Insert your hook in that front loop only, pull up a loop, and make a treble. Next, single crochet in the back loop only of the next three stitches. Now we just have one more treble two together to make, and this one is really easy. We don't need to count at all. The first leg of our treble two together is going to go into the same loop as the treble we just made, and the second leg is going to go in the same loop as the very first leg of the very first treble two together. So first leg right in here, second leg right in there. We'll move right along. So yarn over twice, insert your hook in the same front loop that we just worked our treble into, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops twice. Yarn over twice, insert your hook in the same front loop as the first leg of the very first treble two together, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops twice, then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And there's your last treble two together of round 10. Now all you need to do is single crochet in the back loop only of the last three stitches.
then you can slip stitch to both loops of the very first stitch to join pull that slip stitch tight and there is your round 10 now for round 11 round 11 is just like round 7 was um, except there's a couple more trouble two togethers so we're going to do a lot of the same things we did in round 7 that we did to place our treble two togethers. We'll start by making a chain one and our very first treble two together. We can count this one out. Our first leg is going to go two stitches behind and two rounds below, or we can find the stitch that these two legs were worked into and work into the front loop that is immediately above it. So we can do either one. We can count one stitch behind, two stitches behind, one round below, two rounds below, or you can find the front loop that these two legs were worked into and work in the front loop immediately above it. Either way, however you like to find it, we'll yarn over twice and insert our hook into that front loop only. And then pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through two loops twice. And we'll do the same for the second leg. We'll count one stitch ahead, two stitches ahead, then one round below, and two rounds below to place in that front loop only yarn over twice first and then place it in that front loop only pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops twice yarn over pull through all three loops and that's your first treble two together now single crochet in the back loop only of the next three stitches and we'll make another treble two together. Just like in round 10, the first leg is always going to go into the same front loop only that we just worked into. So yarn over twice and go ahead and insert your hook into the same front loop only as the second leg of the first treble two together. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops twice. Now the second leg will count from our stitch, from our next stitch, which is this treble two together. We'll count from these two, the top two loops of this stitch. One stitch ahead, two stitches ahead, one round below, move these out of the way, two rounds below is where we'll place our second leg. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into that front loop only, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops twice. Now with three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops and that's your second treble two together. Next, single crochet in the back loop only of the next three stitches. Then treble in the front loop only of the stitch two stitches behind and two rounds below, or the exact same front loop as the second leg of our previous treble two together. So in that same front loop, just make a regular treble. Now for this round, we need to single crochet in the back loop only of the last stitch of the side. And then that brings us to our corner. Make your regular single crochet, chain two, and single crochet in the corner. Okay, let's take a look at a full side of round 11. We're going to start with a single crochet in the back loop only of the first stitch. And now we'll make a treble in the front loop only of the stitch, two stitches ahead and two rounds below our next stitch. So here's our next stitch, counting one stitch ahead, two stitches ahead, one round below, move the stitches out of the way, two rounds below, is that front loop right there. So yarn over twice, insert your hook in that front loop only, pull up a loop and complete your treble. Next, single crochet in the back loop only of the next three stitches. Now we'll start our treble two togethers. So our first treble two together, the first leg goes in the same front loop only as the treble we just made. So yarn over twice, insert your hook in the same front loop, pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through two loops. That's your first leg. Our second leg will count from counting from this the top two loops of this treble two together, one stitch ahead, two stitches ahead, one round below, two rounds below. There's our front loop only, so yarn over twice, 
insert into that front loop only and pull up a loop. Then yarn over, pull through two loops twice. Then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then single crochet in the back loop only of the next three stitches. Now another treble two together, so yarn over twice, insert your hook in the same front loop as the second leg of the previous treble two together, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops twice. For our second leg we'll count, counting from this stitch, one stitch ahead, two stitches ahead, one round below, and scooch these out of the way, two rounds below. So yarn over twice, and then in that front loop only that we just found, insert your hook, pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through two loops, twice. Yarn over, pull through all three loops for your treble two together. Now single crochet in the back loop only of the next three stitches. One more treble two together on this side. So yarn over twice, insert your hook in the same front loop as the second leg of the previous treble two together, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, twice. And we'll count out the next leg, so from here, one stitch ahead, two stitches ahead, one round below, one round below, two rounds below. There's my front loop, so yarn over twice, under that front loop only, pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through two loops, twice. Yarn over, pull through all three loops to complete your stitch. Now single crochet in the back loop only of the next three stitches, and make a treble into the same front loop as the last, the second leg of the last treble two together you made. So yarn over twice, insert your hook in the same front loop as the last treble two together, pull up a loop and complete your treble. Then you just need to single crochet in the back loop only of the very last stitch of the side. That should bring you to your corner, you can single crochet, chain two, and single crochet again in the corner. Okay, so that is a full side of round 11. Just like round 10, we did our corner, but then we did a single crochet in the back loop only of the first stitch. Then everything else was just like round 10. We did a treble, two stitches ahead, two rounds below in the front loop only, three single crochets in the back loop only. Then we did a treble two together. We placed the first leg in the same exact front loop as the treble we just made. Then we counted two forward and two rounds below to the front loop only to place our second leg. Then we did three single crochets in the back loop only. Then we repeated that sequence of stitches three times. Treble two together, three single crochets in the back loop only. Treble two together, three single crochets in the back loop only. Then we wrapped up with a treble in the same front loop as the second leg of our last treble two together and a single crochet in the back loop only of the last stitch of the side and then our corner as usual. So that's a full side around 11. Go ahead and do that again on the next two sides and I'll show you how to do this last side around 11. Now to complete this last side around 11, I've just done my very last corner. So the first thing we need to do is single crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch. Now we'll treble in the front loop only of the stitch two stitches ahead and two rounds below. So here's our next stitch, we'll count one stitch ahead, two stitches ahead, one round below, two rounds below that, is that front loop only right there is where I'm going to make a treble. After that, single crochet in the back loop only of the next three stitches. Now we can make our very last treble two together around 11. This one is so much easier, we don't need to count at all. The first leg will go into the same front loop only as the treble we just made. And the second leg will go into the same front loop only as the first leg of the very first treble two together that we made. So yarn over twice, insert your hook in the same front loop as the treble we just made, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, twice. Yarn over twice, Insert your hook in the same front loop only as the very first leg of the first treble two together, pull up a loop, 
yarn over, pull through two loops twice. Then yarn over and pull through all three loops to complete your last treble two together. Now all you need to do is single crochet in the back loop only of the last three stitches. Then you can slip stitch to the top two loops of the very first treble two together to join your round, pull it nice and tight, and that is round 11. Now what I want you to do is go ahead and make rounds 12 and 13 by repeating round 3 for each of them. So two repeats of round 3, one for round 12, one for round 13, and then we will meet back here and I will give you instructions for round 14 and round 15. Before we talk about rounds 14 and 15, you should have already completed rounds 12 and 13, both as repeats of round 3. Now for rounds 14 and 15, I'm not going to demonstrate them. I'm not going to show you because they are pretty much identical to rounds 10 and 11. So all you really need to do is make rounds 10 and round 11 again. The only difference is you're going to have an additional two treble two togethers on each side. So when you do your side to start, you'll start with a treble two together just like you did in round 10. Then you'll have another two treble two togethers before you get to your treble. Then when you do a full side, instead of having one, two, three, you're going to have one, two, three, four, and five. So you'll just have a couple more treble two togethers to make on each side and you should be able to complete rounds 14 and 15 just by re-watching rounds 10 and 11. No problem, right? You got this. Okay, go ahead and do rounds 14 and 15 and I'll show you how to wrap things up with round 16. For round 16, start with a chain one. And what we're going to do here is put a round of single crochet on, but we're going to make single crochets into both loops this time. So in the very first stitch, in both loops, make a regular single crochet. Now continue that all the way across, single crochet in both loops of each stitch, all the way across to the corner chain two space. Single crochets in both loops. We're just putting a nice sturdy edge on. This will help straighten out any lumpiness in your square and help get it ready, have a nice sturdy edge for when we join. So single crochets in both loops all the way across to the next corner. And when you get to the corner, there's nothing special. We're going to make the corner just like we have before with a single crochet, chain two, and another single crochet all in the chain two space. After that, turn your square and continue to single crochet in both loops across the side. All the way until the next corner and then make your corner as usual. Go ahead and do that all the way around. When you get to the very last side, single crochet in both loops all the way up to the last stitch and then slip stitch to the first single crochet to join. Fasten off, weave in your ends, you are all done. That is it for our square. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed making this pattern and I will see you again for our next pattern in the Stardust Melodies Crochet Along. Have fun!